What's up boys and girls, welcome back to Expression Culture, here with me, Gareth Hunter Kruger. Today, it's another early morning, <laughs> and that's why I'm already going to grab my favourite monster. But today, we're going to be trialling another hard race part on my CRZ. Let's have a go. So yes, today we're going to trial another hard race product on my CRZ. Now when I say trial, I'm sure a lot of you are aware that the uh, the CRZ was built in exceptionally small numbers, especially here in the UK, and uh, a lot of manufacturers don't actually make parts specifically for the Honda CRZ. Now, as I'm sure you're also aware, uh, Honda are pretty much built like Lego. I'm sure other manufacturers do as well, but lots of components from other Hondas are used on the CRZ. Specifically, lots of parts from the GE, Jazz or Fit. Now, this part is actually listed for a GK Fit or Jazz. Uh, also the GR uh, Jazz, which is the current model. I'm not sure if the state's got the GR. I know we did. I don't mean kazoo racing by the way that's just a, <laughs> just a chassis type so yes this particular one is 8877 had to make sure I got that the right way around when I could see it on my camera and these are front reinforced absorber nuts now what they do is they basically go on the top of the uh, top mount and sort of fill in uh, the gap where you would normally just have uh, a lock nut tying everything down uh, from what I believe is they're meant to improve uh, steering response uh, make the vehicle turning better I don't know if you'll actually feel any of this uh, there's a few statements they put on their website but yeah I don't think I'm not 100% sure if you feel any of this as an overall package it may uh, it may do what it says. Uh, I do actually have the uh, reinforced rubber um, top plate dampener and the uh, the rubber one under that's underneath the sort of uh, strut tower. I can't think what the terms are called for them. They all call them weird things. Um, but yeah, I've got both of those already on the car. They were fitted when Dino Days fitted my time callovers. Um, so yes, I'm going to quickly show you where they'll go, what the product is, and uh, let's get to it. I do already have the real ones, which again are listed for a, a GE fit, which I'll, actually I'll show you them now. So that's the rear ones, nice big, uh, I think it's billet, um, they call it a reinforced washer. Still got the rubber insulators on each side, but that replaces your, sort of, just your typical Honda. Um, washer on top and nut so very nice like I was saying that part's actually listed for a GE uh, jazz or fit so again it's another component that will fit the, the CRZ that isn't listed for the CRZ I've even got the uh, hard race drop links uh, listed for the GE fit that obviously fit this as well there's plenty of parts like this. This is why I do these sort of videos, just to help everyone. So I could, if I try it, at least everyone then knows that it fits the car and they can go out and buy it. Just helps that CRZ community out a bit. Anyway, let's look at the front ones. So this is basically what it'll do. It'll fill in this space here and it'll have its own integrated nut. So it's just a case really of removing that nut and then replacing it with the new piece that sits in here. And I'm hoping it fits. I'm fairly confident it will uh, but yeah I've replaced this with the hard race one and underneath the strut tower uh, there's a big rubber donut as well which I've replaced with the hard race um, version as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack that nut off obviously take that dust cover off all you're going to need for these 
I believe, if they're the same. Yeah, so I've got tine coil overs and all you need is a spanner here to obviously hold the damper in place and then a spanner on here to undo those. Um, yeah, and then because the, the suspension's, you know, on the ground, you won't need to uh, support anything. In fact, it's actually better to always do up suspension components when everything's on the ground, because otherwise you risk tearing things if you tighten everything and torque everything up whilst the suspension's uh, not compressed. So that's a little top tip for you there. I know a lot of people make that mistake, is they when they fit all new suspension components, bushes and stuff, obviously they torque everything up, or don't torque everything up, but at least do everything up tight. Uh, when it's up on a ramp or on an axle stands, or and that actually can uh, risk damaging them because when you then put it back on the ground, everything is then is is in a different place. So it's always best to do your final torques and tightenings when it's back on the ground. So these are the products here, and as you can see, it's already got a, a captive nut in it. But as long as everything, as long as that thread's the same and uh, obviously that sits now flush should be fine but yeah it's pretty cool aren't they they're not expensive either i think they're like less than 20 quid or around 20 quid let's get them on oh, just the best thing in the morning it's too early Still condensation on the car. <sighs> right, because the suspension is still compressed, you should be able to do this without. I could do with some Swan expanders, really, in there. Without um, having to do the lock nut on the top of the thread. We'll give it a go. Oh. Yeah, as I thought, Let's see if it starts to spin. Oh no, it's nice and loose. Fantastic. So, take that now. If it is too tight, obviously you put a spanner on here, which I believe is a 10 mil on these. Obviously these are tine uh, coilovers. If you're using the stock shock absorbers, you will need to put an Allen key in the top of it. I'm afraid I can't tell you what size it is because I don't have stock shock absorbs anymore. Um, God, that's a long thread, isn't it? So we take that off, take that washer out, which is going to be a pain. Let me just get it off off camera. Right, that's that off. Uh, that was a 17mm nut if you're using the tine. And all you do is then. Make sure that's obviously on properly. Just thread it on. And that will center itself in the middle of the cup. And there we go. Obviously, tighten this up. Uh, I tried it over there. That's a 19mm nut. Uh, to tighten it up, though, you mainly have to use the, the 10mm on here. Um, we'll give that a go now. One second. Grab a 19. I should assume you're gonna have to uh, talk it up. Well, not talk it up, but. That's the wrong way. Ratchet spanners will come real handy here. Just keep an eye on the on the center shaft and thread. What's that? See now that's starting to move. So now I'm not going to be able to do this two-handed, but you want to put one on here and then one on here, and just do this up tight so it doesn't move anymore. I'm just going to nip this up now. Make sure we've got the right orientation. So, 19 on the nut. 
turn up here and just make sure we're all nice and tight. Oh, which we are. Like I said, it helps having the car on the ground. So just make sure that now spins all as one piece and then you know it's nice and tight. Yeah. Sorted. Just peace of mind, I'm going to do it one more time. Cool, yeah. She tight. And now put the little rubber cap back on. It's not actually necessary because obviously they're for the OEM ones where they have the key on the top, but it just keeps it nice and neat. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed with is this actual rubber has started to go like brown, as you can see here though. It rubs off. And that's the hard race new ones. I might put some like rubber conditioner on that and see if that comes up nicer. Stops it from going brown. I'm just going to use a bit of this Orglin vinyl rubber care. I actually use this on my tyres. It stops the sidewalls from sort of cracking and stuff. A little bit on there. Make sure you get all the way around it, obviously. And voila, it looks brand new again. I'll do the upside now. And there's just a close up of everything. Looks great actually. Lovely. Well, there we go, boys and girls. Hope that's been helpful to someone. Certainly is a. Yeah, it looks better, doesn't it? Having a nice sort of. I think it's better anyway. Nice bit of billet at the top of your engine bay and on top of your suspension this tidies it up as well and obviously where those cups are you know you get all dirt and everything in there anyway it's just sort of nice to seal all that up putting a bit of that auto glim uh vinyl and rubber care on it actually really uh brought that hard race rubber back to life pleased with that so anyway boys and girls hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless Please check out the sponsors on the intro and the outro. Uh, these were supplied to me by Torque Parts by Torque GT. Um, discount code in the description for them. It is Honda Guru, all capitals, no space, if I remember correctly. <laughs> if not, it's in the it's in the description anyway. Um, they are on the website. Obviously, they are listed for a GK and a GR. Um, but as you know, they now fit. It's funny that isn't it they fit a fit and a crz yeah so i don't know yes anyway boys and girls like i said hope you've enjoyed it have one of our time whatever you're doing i'll see you on the next video probably won't be on the crz for a while. my crz for a little while actually um no plans on it for probably a few weeks now actually uh end of the month i'm going to wales um which is about a three hour drive each way from where i am uh, which is not going to be cool because as you probably, as some of you will know at least, um, I don't do very well on long journeys, um, which is a shame. But anyway, that I'll have to wait for. Hopefully there'll be some videos in the meantime on someone else's car. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but yes, I'll see you in the next video, boys and girls. And I'm now going to enjoy the rest of this monster in peace. See you later.